The A350 holds the distinction of being the first Airbus aircraft to be built predominantly with carbon fiber reinforced plastic. This isn't just some industry buzzword. This advanced composite is a fusion of carbon fibers embedded within a plastic matrix, resulting in a material that is not only dramatically stronger than traditional metals, but also far lighter. That means better fuel efficiency and enhanced structural resilience. Unlike aluminum, which has long been the standard in aircraft construction, carbon fiber doesn't corrode easily, it requires less maintenance, and it contributes to a reduction in overall fuel consumption. That's a triple win in the aviation world. Long before the A350, aircraft like the Douglas DC-3 marked the beginning of commercial air travel, and the Boeing 747 revolutionized global connectivity as the first widebody jet. Now, many in the industry believe the A350 is poised to write the next chapter in aviation history. With its advanced materials, innovative design, and growing popularity among airlines and passengers alike, it's quickly earning a place in the pantheon of aviation legends. But let's be clear, the A350 story hasn't been without its turbulence. One of the most high-profile setbacks came when Qatar Airways, the very airline that helped launch both the 900 and 1000 variants of the A350 and had praised the aircraft's performance from the beginning, took legal action against Airbus. In 2021, Qatar filed a monumental $2 billion lawsuit citing issues with the A350's paint cracking, which exposed the copper mesh beneath the surface. According to the airline, this wasn't just a cosmetic defect, it posed a serious safety risk, especially in the event of a lightning strike, since the mesh is part of the aircraft's lightning protection system. Even though this legal battle has since been resolved through a confidential settlement, and the case was officially dropped, the episode had lasting implications. Airbus had to acknowledge the issue publicly, and whether directly influenced by the litigation or not, they initiated changes to the aircraft's surface materials. Airbus revealed that they had already started modifying the protective layer as early as 2019, stating that such developments are part of their ongoing innovation efforts, not a knee-jerk reaction to legal troubles. What resulted from this change was a shift from the traditional expanded copper foil, ECF, to a newer, more advanced material, perforated copper foil, PCF. This upgrade offered two primary benefits. It was even lighter, enhancing the aircraft's efficiency, and it reduced the likelihood of cracking. In the highly competitive world of aviation, every gram saved and every structural improvement counts. This material swap made the A350 even more formidable in the marketplace, creating further distance between it and its rivals. Such innovations haven't gone unnoticed. Since its entry into service, the A350 has garnered glowing feedback from airlines worldwide. Virgin Atlantic, for instance, described the A350 as the quietest and most fuel-efficient long-haul aircraft they've ever operated. This praise is largely due to a combination of factors. The ultralight composite structure, highly optimized aerodynamic profile, and the inclusion of Rolls-Royce's state-of-the-art Trent XWB engines, which deliver not just power but efficiency, range, and reduced emissions. And Virgin isn't alone. French B, a growing French low-cost long-haul carrier, also hailed the A350 as their ideal aircraft. Its various size options align perfectly with their route needs, and they've hinted at expanding their A350 fleet in the near future. The plane has proven itself in both operational performance and passenger comfort, making it a strong favorite across different airline models, from luxury full-service carriers to budget operators looking to maximize capacity and minimize cost. Meanwhile, over on the other side of the Atlantic, Boeing has been stumbling, and not in minor ways. While Airbus continues to refine the A350 and increase its appeal, Boeing has found itself bogged down in a web of ongoing production issues delivery delays, and deep financial uncertainty. Following the COVID-19 pandemic, Boeing hoped for a clean recovery. But instead, their situation deteriorated. The FAA discovered ongoing problems with the 787 Dreamliner, halting deliveries and forcing the company to invest massive resources into resolving both those issues and the long-standing troubles tied to the 737 MAX. These distractions have severely delayed the company's ability to focus on other aircraft models. 
The financial repercussions have been significant. Boeing has posted multiple quarterly losses, citing abnormal production costs. They've warned investors to expect further revenue instability, with supply chain hiccups, customer cancellations, and increasing operational costs continuing to strain their bottom line. To make matters worse, they've struggled to sell aircraft at expected margins, adding to their financial woes. Even Boeing's CEO has issued stark statements acknowledging the company's unpredictable income and reduced cash flow outlook. And all of this chaos? Well, it just makes Airbus look even better by comparison. It's almost as if Boeing is helping Airbus dominate the market, whether they mean to or not. Desperate to meet customer demands amidst ongoing delays with the 787, Boeing has encouraged its airline clients to hold onto older 777 aircraft longer than planned. At the same time, they've tried to source additional 777s to plug the gaps. All this has created a golden opportunity for Airbus to swoop in and offer a 350 as a compelling alternative, particularly to airlines growing frustrated with Boeing's unreliable delivery timelines. But Boeing's woes don't end with commercial aviation. Their defense and space divisions, once strong pillars of the company, are also facing major headwinds. Though they celebrated a milestone with the Artemis I mission in 2022, the project was plagued by delays and cost overruns. Originally budgeted at $9 billion, it ended up being about 30% more expensive and years behind schedule. NASA's confidence in Boeing has visibly eroded. Since 2020, SpaceX, under Elon Musk, has successfully launched five crewed missions to the International Space Station and captured more than eight new NASA contracts. The cost-effective, rapid development strategies employed by SpaceX have left Boeing looking slow, expensive, and outdated. As Boeing's grip on space contracts weakens, its financial base shrinks even further, reducing the resources it can put toward revitalizing its commercial aviation efforts. While Boeing is bogged down by these multifaceted crises, Airbus is forging ahead, not only improving its passenger aircraft, but also expanding into the freighter segment. The A350F is a freight variant of the jetliner and is being marketed as the future of sustainable air cargo. Like its passenger sibling, it's powered by the efficient Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engines and boasts unmatched fuel efficiency. But one of the A350FS standout features is its massive cargo access. The extra-large main deck cargo door, XLMDCD, which spans a jaw-dropping 175 inches in width. Airbus went so far as to say that an entire Trent 7000 engine could slide right through the opening without issue. This door, the largest ever installed on a freighter, is a bold statement of capability, signaling that Airbus is not just competing in cargo, but aiming to lead it. And just when you think Airbus is done, there's more. The A350 has also become a testing ground for next-generation aviation technologies. Airbus Innovation Subsidiary, up next, has been developing an advanced pilot assistance system dubbed Dragonfly. This AI-driven technology was tested on an A350-1000 and has shown promising results. Its purpose? To offer automatic assistance if a pilot becomes incapacitated mid-flight. Dragonfly can automatically reroute the plane, initiate a safe landing, and even respond to external variables such as weather and airspace congestion. If adopted across the fleet, this could revolutionize aviation safety and operations, particularly for long-haul flights where redundancy is critical. The A350S rising stardom is backed not just by design, but by serious commercial traction. Over 1,300 aircraft have been ordered, and leading global carriers like Singapore Airlines, Qatar Airways, Lufthansa, and British Airways have strategically invested in the jet to modernize their fleets. For ultra-long-haul routes, Singapore Airlines uses the A350-900ULR to fly non-stop from Singapore to New York. Cathay Pacific, Japan Airlines, and ANA have all turned to the A350 to replace aging aircraft with something that delivers both performance and comfort. The aircraft's operational stability, range, and low fuel burn are proving to be unbeatable in the current market. A major factor in the A350's growing dominance is its powerhouse engine the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB series. Developed exclusively for this aircraft family, the XWB engines offer remarkable thrust, fuel efficiency, and long-term reliability. The XWB, 
84, used in the A350-900, has already saved thousands of liters of fuel on every flight. Meanwhile, the XWB-97, which powers the A350-1000 and upcoming freighter version, is one of the most powerful and efficient commercial engines ever built. Featuring advanced cooling systems, higher operating temperatures, and even lighter materials like blisks and high-temp turbine alloys. If you want to know what's making the new A380 so irresistible, especially when compared to Boeing's current wide-body lineup, then go ahead and click that video right here.